Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. In the last video, we finally achieved our goal of getting the quest cape on our Group Iron Man accounts, and after that, I tried out Phantom Muspa for the first time, and I got up to 57 KC. I just wanted to learn the boss, get a taste of it. I got the Ancient Icon, which is the upgrade to the Ancient Staff, which you can see I have equipped. And I do still have to go back at some point to get 150k Ancient Essence to upgrade the Imbued Heart. But now, since I don't have to focus on maxing anymore, I could do whatever I want. And something I'm going to be coming back to a lot is doing Slayer, because it's my favorite skill. I love doing all the Slayer bosses, unlocking collection log slots, making upgrades. And every day is just a new adventure. You grab a Slayer task, you never know what you're gonna get. Here's a clip of the last time I trained Slayer. It was when I got 99. Although it looks like here I do have a decent amount of post-99 Slayer XP. Probably from questing, or maybe those retroactive quest XP rewards probably gave some Slayer XP. But since getting 99 in November of 2022, this is my first time going back to my favorite skill. With that said though, I don't plan to have Slayer to be the main focus of this video, or probably just go back and forth between stuff, but really what I want to put more focus onto is doing Barrows because it's a lot of fun, and ever since I decided to rush to max, we just haven't done any PVM at all. So I think Barrows would be like the perfect way to ease us back into PVMing. So here's the plan, right? I still have that Black Demons task, so I'm gonna go to Demonics, try to get that fourth Zenite because Tormented Bracelet is the one that we don't have, and that kind and help a little bit at Barrows. And then from Barrows, on my collection log, I'm missing the Guthans Helm and the Torex Plate Legs. The Guthans set is what we really, really, really want to finish because I feel like it'd be useful for God Wars. I've never really done duo God Wars before, except for what I've done on this account with Spook Dog. And there's so many different duo methods for all these God Wars bosses. There's like different attack styles you could bring, different spellbooks you could be on, different sets of armors you could bring. And this will just open up more opportunities of stuff for us to try. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited for everything. I feel like there's so much to do, but I can only pick one thing to do at a time. So we're going to Demonics now. I have 2147 KC with three Zenites, which are one in 300 and on Slayer task I still have 143 to go so hopefully we can get one this task. One of the nice things about going back to Slayer is that I can start making a bunch of GP again because I've just well, when you're skilling, you don't really make much GP. Well, unless you're a main account, then you make some. But generally, Iron Men do not. That's a pretty solid first trip, too. That's 32 kills and 400k GP. My cash deck is currently under a cool 6 million GP, and cash is very important for me because it allows me to buy more bank space. I've really been liking using the Max Cape for hybrid PVM. Ironically, I think it's generally considered pretty newbie to use because it just has the stats of a regular trim skill cape, which is pretty bad but it has the perks of all the skill capes in one, which maybe doesn't make up for the mediocre stats. So while it's not really best in slot for a lot of situations for PVMing, I think it's useful if you're lazy or you don't want to bring as many switches, or maybe if you're learning bosses or raids for the first time. I've already used a Vorkath head on the range cape, so the max cape has the 80% pickup assembler effect, it has the Holy Wrench effect, so I restore more prayer points per sip of potion. I get double HP regeneration. It acts as a graceful cape with weight reduction. And it also saves an inventory spot because I don't have to bring a teleport with me. Oh, what's this? I'm an Iron Man that's low on run energy? Let me just activate the feature of my max cape to restore my stamina. No way. The monkey tail. That's the rare one to get, dude. That's... That's actually better than getting a Zenite new collection log slot. Uh, glove suit. Wait, that's that's the collection log done. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, the monkey tail's the rare one. That's one out of 1.5k. I, I guess by my KC you would have expected it by now, but it happened. Here's the uniques table for demonics, by the way, just for reference. Okay, so it's the same as the heavy frame. They're both uh, one out of 1500, but we still need more Zenites, so. I keep going. I suppose we might someday want two of these though, if you want a completed light ballista and a completed heavy ballista. But anyways, yeah, I'm not bringing a necklace switch so you can use mine. I have the left click on my nexus set to Barrows. Is, does it show for you too, or do you have to set it yourself or what, if you left click on it? Yeah, it's left click. Oh, cool. All right, let's do it. Let's get the gut and sell them. <laughs> Please. They recently updated some of the rewards for the combat achievement diaries and they gave a reward for the medium tier where if you have the Gommel's Hilt 2 equipped 
at Barrow's, your prayer will not drain. But seeing as I'm 99 prayer, the only time I drink a dose of prayer pod at Barrow's is one sip every six runs, which is when I get a Derek tunnel. And even then, sometimes I don't even have to drink a sip if Derek spawns in the corner room. I don't have any of the combat diaries done, by the way. I mean, I have goals to do them in the future, but I'm just giving you that info so you can decide for yourself if you personally think it's worth it to sacrifice that shield slot for the hilt at Barrow's. So this is our first time going back to pvm in a long time this is very symbolic the first barrow's chest we're also going to get the guppin's helm from our very first chest back and then be able to move on yeah. to god wars ready yeah three two one go nothing okay <laughs> as expected <laughs> all right let's begin the insane barrow's grind i'm gonna bring the con cape with me because I okay. will have to open up the interface, you know, the teleport, the teleports interface, and it's probably just going to keep on getting interrupted by the skeletons. I'll leave the max cape in my inventory, though, for the holy wrench effect. Rose gloves would be a sweet upgrade for a mid-level account like yours. Yeah, all I have is these stupid ferocious gloves. Hopefully we can get B gloves today. I have three Barrows combat tasks left. I'll try this one. Kill all the Barrows brothers. Without, oh, without having more than zero prayer points, I have to get to zero and then go. I probably should bring freezes for that, huh? And there's that other achievement too. Kill Dirac, Varric, Torag, and Guthin without letting them hit you with melee. I feel like that's that might be a bit RNG based. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll have to use the D-Spear probably. We'll still do the Faithless run here. Will this be the combat task? Yeah, Faithless Crypt run. I will just run away. Uh, no, I'm just... <laughs> okay, for real this time. Okay, yeah, there's that bit of delay, so... <laughs> okay, I misclicked again. <laughs> oh, you have to finish the run now? It'll just... Okay, well, I, I I guess I could just practice a bit. Yeah, I'm still warming up. That's, that's why. Okay, so he spawned there, and I could... Okay, well, if I was paying attention, I could have... Wait, there's two of them. <laughs> are, wait, are they both attacking me, or is he just hitting with two hammers? Wait, does Troy get twice? Because it looks like I never knew that. Or what? No. It, it's not. It's not multi combat, dude. Barrows is so freaking weird. <laughs> Old ass mini game. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's one so far, bro. If he unfreezes, I swear. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> no. I'm bringing the Ancient Scepter. I have discovered the method. I know what to do, maybe. Okay, go to this side. Toss this bad boy on. Run back here. No, don't... Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yes. All right, this is how it's going to happen. Oh, grats in the stuff. No! Okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good. <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. Okay, so once I finish this run, we should get the task. Okay, let's see the combat task get completed. Okay. There it is, can't touch me. The last task left is kill Carol using only special attacks. Yeah, so assuming it's not a Carol tunnel, I'll just keep going uh, teleport back to the POH until I get this task done. Oh, okay. <laughs> On the, the next round, I guess. Cool. Imagine if it's first try. Oh, there's no way. I only needed three specs. And that was my first try too. Okay, that's actually crazy. <laughs> And just like that, it was just like that. I just want to see it green. Oh, it's beautiful. Barrows is complete, except it's not complete. But the achievements, the combat achievements are complete. Oh, heck, it's heck. Oh, freak, it's freak. <laughs> there is the elite casket. It's got to be a good one because I got it on this KC where the loot value was 66666 coins. So here we go. As expected. Oh, you got to draw. Oh, it's Dark's Helm. <laughs> Wrong helm, no. Uh, I, oh, I can't believe you chose the wrong helm. I would do that. I'm sorry. Oh, I just realized the chat can't see it. Let me let me hide my face. 
Yeah, there you go. I also got an elite clue. A drop! First drop since coming back, it's been 33 KC so far. That is number three. You have Kirill's crossbow, right? Yeah. So we already have two of everything then, except for the two <laughs> items that we don't have. Wait, do you have Torag's legs or gut? Or, yeah, do you have Torag's legs? No. Okay. So yeah, we have two of everything except for those two drops. Oh, was I supposed to record the 100 milestone? Well, I got 800 barrows, Casey. There is 10,000 scales into the group storage. Caught nothing from my elite clue. It's like, oh, <gasps> no way. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you actually got the it. skeleton champion scroll. That's crazy. <laughs> and then rewarded from the chest. No. Oh, that's my first champion scroll. I don't know why I thought I had imp or goblin or giant or something. So I killed two skeletons per run of barrows and it's one out of 5k for a champion scroll. So I would have met the drop rate at 2.5k KC. So a little bit lucky for this one. Oh, <laughs> Gretz. I wish this person that. good luck and I actually got the drop. You copied my drop. At least it's a new collection log slot for you. <laughs> well, I guess you don't really care about log. Yeah, huh? I mean, it's nice, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's Arab's rope skirt. Yeah, I guess my my big ass head's covering it again. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Wow. I am fishing. Oh my. <laughs> I mean, they're dupes, of course, but like, wow. I was just doing a few <laughs> a few chests before bed because it's really late right now i was not expecting that that woke me wide awake okay 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 we keep going we keep going i was just searching around in the plugin hub and i found this one barrow's door highlighter because you know normally there's three doors you can't go through and only one that you can go through would highly recommend although it's kind of cluttery so i'm just gonna have it show the unlocked doors i started with the full trident 2500 charges and it's almost empty at this point so i just want to show that 2500 charges will last for about 75 barrows chests i probably could have done like one more and then because i also used the trident for doing some of those elite clues maybe i could have gone like 77 or 78 or something but that would come out to about 30 to 35 trident charges per barrows run yeah man i'm running pretty low on the runes and the zora scales i don't know how much longer I can upkeep the trident for. Um, you didn't grats me. Oh, grats. Uh, melee and Kirill kind of cringe. <laughs> Bad luck. Elite. <laughs> I should bait the YouTube comments so we get so I get more comments in the video. All right, guys, we both got elite caskets here. Well, you could put your uh, guess in the comments of who is going to get the casket that's worth more value. No cheating. You have to comment now. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Mine's 91k. Mine's 203k. Ooh, I got a dragon cane. Oh, nice. We could be like Lincoln Rarg and make a video. Um... We we each opened one elite casket, then we fight. I mean, I guess I'll just keep them in the bank. It's fine. I have no idea why I'm out of the bank space. Oh, dude, wait, Tor wait, that's the new, that's the new. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, I I think I would new. rather have gotten these first because now I'm still motivated to keep going to finish the log. That's cool, even though they're not useful, but that's cool. Look at that, just the Guthans helm. Of course, of course, the Guthans is the last set that we finished, the one that's actually gonna be useful for us. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, it's Kirill's leather top. I know you can't see that, there we go. Grats. Well, it's something at least. Yeah. No, the skeleton disappeared. Oh, Spook just got Derek's plate legs. <laughs> oh, it's collection log. Nice. Three, two, one, go. No, why would you choose to get the wrong Guthans piece? I'm sorry, I'll do better next time. Okay, you two, take your get. Okay, let's just open them. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. I got master. Mine's 192k. 113. I won. What did I win? Good job. I don't know, what do you win? I want 
a firm handshake and a pat on the back. A master casket. Let's get the pet on this wonderful pet Saturday. <laughs> Another elite casket. One, go. <laughs> Aram staff. Nothing. Aram staff. More like I have a job for him. I'm using this calculator on the wiki to show you that if you were to kill one brother versus six brothers, how the drop rate changes, like it's 0.286% chance for a specific item when you kill all the brothers, but if you unselect all these, uh, except for Gothens in this case, or you could pick any of them, it's 0.128. So you're a lot less likely to get that one specific piece because when you kill less brothers, you get less rolls on the drop table, even though you can only get pieces from this set. It would take longer overall. Plus, not to mention the fact you can't really choose when you go into the tunnel. You still have to find the right Barrow's uh, brother tunnel. So basically, even if you are going for one specific piece, you still want to kill all six brothers. What I've been doing for Aram is I just DDS spec him and then whip him down after I use up the specs. But I just ran the DPS calcs and it turns out that just straight up switching to the Bofa is more DPS than just using the whip. Like keeping all my gear on and using the Bofa with this gear, it's about 30% better than whipping. So I'm gonna bring the Bofa switch for him. <laughs> Virix flail number six. Good luck to everyone in the Barrows room. Chest number 900. I love answering questions people didn't ask for. That's, I'm not doing a Virtus run. Okay. Actually, it might be time for one because I did it at the start of the stream. It is time for one. It's like my internal clock just somehow knew. All right, we got an elite casket. Wow. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> Twerg's plate legs again. <laughs> Went from it being one of the last items to now having it twice. That is how the game goes. It's not even a new collection log slot. It's Carol's leather top. I guess you can't see it in the chat box. Leather top is pug though. I mean, we have like a bunch of them. Oh, Carol's top. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Copium. Okay, well, I, okay, I, I can explain the Ivan staff. Uh, apparently, if I use the Ivan staff, I will get the drop this run. So, anyways, magic level, no drop. But we got wow. a catch of runes, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. I always shoo away the stray dog. I don't want fleas in my POH. Same. What the heck? Just for that, I hope you don't get a drop. That's fine, you can get the drop. Okay. Three, I'm two, ready. one, go! Nothing. Carol's leather's <laughs> <laughs> Another Torag's plate legs. Wow, toxic teammate too. Hmm, debating between whether this video should be called 1000 Barrow's Chest or Guthin's Helm, whichever comes first, or just something along the lines of loot from 1000 Barrow's. We shall find out. Even though I didn't do the 1000 Barrow's all in this one video, but like my total KC is gonna be 1000 pretty soon. Which I'll probably I'll probably just end the video at 1k because that'll be like a nice clean number, and you will be able to see the total loot from all the barrows I've done on this account in the loot tracker too, so. Eric's flail, yes. <laughs> okay, and this chest is going to be number 1,000 at barrows. We started off this video with my KC being at 750, and while it's at 1,000, the loot tracker ended up not tracking six of them throughout my whole time. I've done barrows on this account, probably due to like one taking it, opening it, and it closing at the same time. So if this is gonna be like a loot from 1,000 video, then I think it's only fair that I do six more runs, get my KC up to 1,006, and that way the loot tracker will truly show the loot from 1,000. Although I guess if you include Spook Dog's loot tracker, which I'll also show at the end, that'll be like well over 1,200 barrows, but Anyways, let's finish this up. All right, now this one for real is going to be the final chest of the video. Any Guthans Helms? No. Well, that's 1,006 Barrows, Casey. All right, hey, it's Hack Houndor. Um, Okay, I will put up the collection log on the screen. I'll put up Spook Dog's collection log on screen for Barrows as well. I'll fit it somewhere up on the screen here. If I'll just kind of stretch it out a bit so you can kind of see them both next to each other. But... Yeah, the only item that we still need is Guffin's Helm, which of course happens to be the most important set for us as a team. Just happens to be the last set that we're going to finish, but that's how it goes, eh? And now the loot tracker from 1,000 barrows, or I guess you could also argue it's like 12, 
1249 burrows if you include spook dogs. This means that my average value per chest came out to a bit under 100k, 96.7k per chest. Here's a useful stat for Iron Man. One onyx from the Tsar shop would cost you about 29k, just under 29k chaos runes, which means from this 1000 KC, I would be able to purchase almost six more onyxes. I already have plenty of onyxes from Zora, and I got one from Tekton too, and I'll probably continue to get more onyxes from Zora. So we shouldn't actually have to purchase any more onyxes, but if you're an Iron Man and you have the Mauritania Hard Diary done, then going by this data, it would be about 170 Barrows chests to purchase an onyx. In this video, I did 250 Barrows KC, and I was averaging about 10 kills per hour-ish, so. It's about 25 hours of barrows in this video. We really need to get the Guffin set one way or another. Well, we probably don't need to, but it'd be really fun to have it because we'd be able to try out different duo methods. Oh, here. <laughs> okay, so we'll probably just continue to do some more barrows in the next video, maybe more Slayer as well, but we're gonna have to always keep on coming back to barrows to get the Guffin set, or maybe we could just go do it together sometimes if we feel like it. But with that said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Make sure to check out my Duo Teammate Spook Dogs channel linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.